Hello everyone, this is Human Hard Drive, and today we're going to be taking a slight departure from working with the Arduino, well, we're still going to be working with the Arduino, but we're going to be taking a different approach to it. Um, this is an advanced tutorial. Um, this is going to be looking at something called AVRC, which is C for AVR-based processors, which is that puppy right there. Um, if you're new to the Arduino, you might want to just skip over this tutorial, ignore it, you come back to it when you've got a little more understanding, or the, yeah, a little more understanding, because this will get a little complicated. Um, if you're new to the, Ar if you've used the Arduino language, you know it's a derivative of something called processing, uh, which is an object-oriented language for the Arduino, which it's high level, so you don't have to deal with any of the mucking about with uh, registers and timing and all this really complicated stuff that runs in the background when you upload the program to the chip. Now, if you've ever wondered what these pins are on the Arduino, these are called ICSP pins, which is In Circuit Serial Programmer. And to give you an idea of what that means, it's one of these. No, it's not one of these in particular. There are actually a whole bunch of different ones. This is called the EVR Pocket Programmer from our good friends at SparkFun. Um, this is a programmer for the AVR chip, which is uh, used in conjunction with AVR Dude, which is an application run on your computer to download programs from the AVR uh, Studio, that's AVR Studio 5, to the, uh, the microcontroller board. Um, there are actually a whole bunch of these, um, SDK 500s, SDK Dragons, if you just Google AVR programmer, you'll find a whole list of uh, things you can use with your computer. This one actually does not work with AVR Studio. You've got to do a little bit more work, but as far as programmers go, this one is the cheapest, and it is by far the nicest one I've used. So, it uses a 6x2. Is that 6x2? Nope, 5x2. Sorry, I can't count. 5x2 header, which uh, it comes with one of these cables. And it'll just plug in. If I no, can't. A little slot. There we go. That plugs in. And then if I bring the Arduino down here, turn this around. Plug in it. Oh, there we go. And it plugs in just like that. So it essentially it turns this thing into. Well, it uses the Arduino board as the programmer, and this is what is sends signals. So. This video is just meant to acquaint you with the hardware, so if you don't have one of these and you want to follow the tutorial, I suggest you get one. There's a link below. Um, again, these are the cheapest. You can get these right off SparkFun. I love these things. Uh, where is I going to go with this? Okay. Now, as far as the Arduino is concerned, uh, you might not know this, but the Arduino IDE, what it's meant to do is it's meant to... If you've, if you've looked at the... 18 mega 328 data sheet, you'll know that when you program it, it's actually using uh, an SPI interface. That's a two, uh, three wire asynchronous data protocol. It uses a, that's the MOSI, MISO, and S clock. That's a master out, slave in, and master in, slave out. Now, what the Arduino IDE does is uh, on the uh, Arduino chip itself, there is a section in the programming memory called a bootloader. So when power is first applied to that, it's going to go into the bootloader uh, section of memory and run the code in there. Now what that code does is it's going to check to see if there's anything coming over the TX line of the chip. Or not the TX line, the RX line. Anything coming from the USB through the serial converter to the chip itself. If that is, then it's going to start checking it, see what it's saying, and if it's a programming command, it's going to start loading it into memory. Now, before Arduino, what you'd have to do is you'd have to deal with these programmers and AVRC, and you'd hook it up using the ICSPs, and you'd have to program this thing in C, which is what we're going to get into. So if you haven't, um, if you don't know C, um, it's not a prerequisite. Uh, we're going to get into the basics of C. And we're going to get into the basics of what is considered hardware programming. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the Arduino, uh, don't look at this. But if you're ready to do something a little more hardware, hardware heavy, uh, this is uh, the tutorial for you. 
Um, this is going to go into looking at the uh, registers, um, the timers, the everything that uh, the Arduino IDE takes care of for you when you run the software. So in the link below, I provide you all the links for the software, um, some software I wrote to make AVR Dude a lot more habitable, because AVR Dude is a bit of a pain, and uh, probably the data sheet for this, because... Well, let's face it, RTFM is going to come up a lot in these tutorials. So, this is, uh, this is uh, Human Hard Drives signing off.